John Wright, who wants to pay, he's, he's leading a, a movement to pay $100,000 to every black American who had an ancestor uh, who uh, was into slavery. Isn't that ludicrous? Yeah! Yeah! Now, John, I say this. A lot of people have been persecuted in this, in this country unfairly. The Jews have been persecuted. Uh, and all, Italians at one time were, were persecuted. Uh, there have been a lot of people. Orientals have been persecuted. Uh, why don't we, we pay them rep uh, some reparations too then? Well, you did pay the Orientals some reparations. But understand one thing, Wally. Of all of the people, this is a country of immigrants. Of all of the people that are in this country as immigrants, we are the only ones who came against our will. Yeah, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. But but you who, who else was brought over here? But 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 who sent but who sent the the blacks over from Africa? Then nobody the, send us. You yeah. brought us. No, we didn't go over and, and grab you and kidnap you. Yes, you did. No, no. Read you your raped history. the country of read, the, 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 the the continent. Read of Africa. your history books, John. It, it, it was I, I did, but I, I read one that wasn't produced here in America. No, it's African blacks who sold their own blacks to be brought over to America well, you know, as slaves. Hey, Isn't that right? You always look at, who, look at the author of the book before you start the quote names. You know. Remember the old the saying, authenticity. Remember the old saying, John, change things that can be changed, leave things alone that cannot be changed, and be wise enough to know the difference. What you're asking for will never change a thing. Will never change what, it will not reverse what happened in the days of slavery, and I'm telling you this, by asking for a hundred thousand dollars for every black American who has an ancestor who was enslaved. I don't, I don't see where it's going to hurt anything either. It is going to hurt a lot of things. It, it's going to cause more animosity. It's going to open up new wounds, and it's going to make racial. I, I, a, wait a, a minute! It's going to make racism worse than it ever has been. Don't you think so? Yeah! Wally, what, what's worse than lynching? What's worse than lynching? Yeah, but I'm talking about, you, you, you're talking about 200 years ago, John. No, I'm talking, I'm talking about, about 19, today. I'm talking about 1988, 1989. Well, well what, does it, what does that mean? There's lynching going on now. Well, we, we have no, are you, are you trying to, to infer that we have some slavery going on in America today? Yes, we do. Well, how, how? Well, let's put it like this, for one. It's true that you are not right now enslaving us in the sense you have us in fields where you have a guy riding on a horse with a whip but when you deny a man a chance to make a decent living you have him enslaved well no, nobody is, is enslaved in this country i want every person in this country no matter what color they may be what creed to have equal opportunity equal pay and all of that but but we're talking but how can you how can you say that when you send a guy to work I mean, so you give a guy a job paying three dollars and 35 cents an hour he makes about seventy dollars a week and then you tax him 50 of that 70. how how, well, you, how can you say well, well what i'm saying what i'm saying john is every american should have the the right uh, to earn whatever they can, and everyone should get equal pay for the for the same amount of work. But I'm saying this: you don't give something for nothing, and you certainly don't give anybody something for something they are not responsible for, right? Yeah. And remember, oh, remember, John. Come on, Wally. Remember, John. How, wait, wait a minute. How was wait a minute, John. Be on this country without us, John. John, it was the blacks in Africa who sold other b blacks. But That's remember, the book you read. it was Abraham Lincoln who freed the slaves. No, 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 no. Why, no, why no. aren't you ever paying tribute to, to Honest Abe? Hey, why don't we why don't we back up here a minute, Wally? All right. Uh, Lincoln emancipated the slaves. He did not free them well, he be because slavery went on after that. If there's any measure of freedom that was given, Lyndon Johnson did the freedom. Do you mean to tell me that there was slavery until the days of Lyndon Johnson? Yes. No, no. Abraham Lincoln. Wally, you've been out here in it's California. Abraham Lincoln who, who freed the slaves, who says he slavery was wrong. He the slaves. That was hard. half the reason that we fought the Civil War was because of slavery. No, come on, Wally. The only reason that you, wanted, you fought the Civil War is that you wanted to have the economic resources of the South. Well... But what I'm saying is, if anybody... Come on now. What? You, you forget, John, all about the American Indians. You, you know, this used to be their country. And I say, you should be out there pounding the beat, telling us to give $100,000 to every American Indian. Yeah!
about that, John? I can only fight for one cause at a time. Well, Give us well, our hundred thousand, well, and we'll help the end. Wait a minute, wait a minute, John. John, wait a minute, John. Hold it. The American Indian was here long before the uh, the blacks were. So why not pay off the American Indians first if you're for reparations? Oh, well, 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 Wouldn't you agree let, with that? Wait, wait. If, if you're going to do it that way, then why didn't you pay the American Indians off before you paid the Japanese? So you paid the last one that comes to the table, so now you pay the next one that came to the table. That sucks. Pay the American Indians last, because you done, you done reversed the order already. Well, the, the, I want, I just, we just want our $100,000. Uh, 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 we'll let the Indians fight you for their 100000 The only thing I can tell you, John, is what you're doing is you are just trying to lay a lot of guilt on I don't us. Want I don't want your guilt. You can keep yes, your you guilt. Want. Yes, you want. I want a hundred thousand no, dollars. No, you want. <laughs> you want. You're trying to lay the guilt trip guilt. on us here in America, uh, who who have uh, ancestors who had slaves. And if, if if I had a great great grandparent who had slaves, I am very sorry for that. But I tell you again, my friend, I am not responsible, and I'm not going to pay for what my great grandparents did. <laughs> Let's go to the audience. Yes, yes, go ahead. Uh, can I have your name and your question? Go ahead. Yeah, my name is Bill Soto from Corona. Uh, yes, ask John a question. According to history, it was the European who bought the slaves and brought it and brought them to America. And it was the Europeans who made the slaves work till they died. So why should we Americans pay for the bill when it was the Europeans' fault? Yeah, right on. Yeah.